And welcome back to Primetime Sports Tuesday. The wait for embattled Jamaican sprinter Nesta Carter to learn of the date from the Court of Arbitration for Sportcast to attempt to clear his name has now stretched to seven weeks. Nesta Carter, the sprint relay gold medalist who was retroactively found guilty of doping for the banned stimulant methylexanamine from the 2008 Beijing Olympics on January 25, filed his appeal with CAS on the deadline of February 15. President of the Jamaica Olympic Association, Mike Fennell, provided our sports desk with an update on the matter which saw Carter, Usain Bolt, Asafa Powell, Michael Freda and Dwight Thomas losing their relay gold medal from the Beijing Games. The lawyers representing Nesta Carter have informed us that the appeal has been filed with a full brief. They have also informed us that they have not been able to receive all the details from the IOC, who have not disclosed fully all the information. But this matter has been um, provided for in their brief and we we'll just have to wait on a date to be set by the Court of Arbitration for Sport. And we certainly support fully the appeal that has been made. President of the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, Dr. Warren Blake, hints that the holdup seems to be the fault of the IOC. And one order of discovery has been made where the IOC has been asked to produce documentation. And we are waiting the provision of that document from the IOC. So still no data has been Still no data has been set as yet. Carter, the 2013 World 100 Meters bronze medalist, has resumed competing pending the CAS hearing. Reporting for TVJ Sports, I'm Keon Reyna. Jamaica's 400 meter hurdles Olympic finalist, Genevieve Russell, has been drawn in a loaded women's field for the one lap obstacle race at the 43rd Prefontaine Classic in Eugene, Oregon on May 27, the third stop on the 2017 IAAF Diamond League Series. The 23-year-old Russell, the Commonwealth Games bronze medalist from 2014, will square off with Olympic champion Dalila Muhammad of the United States. The strong field will also include Susanna Hainova, the 2013 and the 2015 world champion, Dane Sara Peterson, the 2016 Olympic silver medalist, as well as Ashley Spencer, the Rio Olympic Games bronze medalist. Principal of Kingston College Dave Myrie has refuted reports that the school's track and field head coach Neil Harrison has been fired. Myrie told the TVJ Sports, quote, Coach Harrison has the full support and confidence of the board and management of KC, end quote. Reports emerged on Tuesday that Harrison, who took up the job as head coach at the North Street-based institution in 2014, had been fired after the school failed to cop uh, the top boy spot at last week's Boys and Girls Championships. Myrie, who confirmed that he too had heard the rumors, noted that Harrison remains in charge of the athletics program at Kingston College, even as the school renewed its intention to win the boys' championship title. <laughs> 